have been uh, seeing your videos in YouTube. This is the first time that I'm seeing you live. So I have a basic question which will help everyone here. Everyone talks about you know knowing ourselves, and the first step is going inside, and then the way to go inside is meditation. And when I uh, please I don't. <laughs> I never said such things, I don't know which everyone said those things. Okay, so then how do we go inside? <laughs> That's the question. Inside what? You're already inside the hall. <laughs> inside what? Inside ourselves. Oh. <laughs> okay, if that is the truth of the first step of knowing answers for all the questions, if going inside is the answer, then how do we do that? First of all, you must understand what is inside, okay, and what is outside. If you do not understand what is inside and outside, then you will go to all the wrong places. Now, what is inside? Your body accumulated over a period of time, yes or no? Hello? Ma? What you accumulate can be yours, cannot be you. Is that much clear? whatever it may be. What you accumulate can be yours, cannot be you. So this body is an accumulation. What you call as my mind, the whole content of the mind is accumulated depending upon what you're exposed to in your life. So your body is a heap of food, small or big. Your mind is a heap of impressions, again small or big. Between these two heaps, where the hell are you? So, inside, outside, leave these words because when it comes to language, there is only that much leeway. So within that, maybe different people are trying to use it in different ways. We don't know in what context they used. You put everybody into one bundle and say, hey, all of you said this, I don't know who these all people are. Different people employed different methods around them, looking at the people around them, what was best suitable for the people around them. Accordingly, they would have worked most probably. If they're genuine, they would have worked with the people around them, not with concepts from somewhere. What… looking at an individual person, you will do something, what works for that person. What you do with this person may not work for another person, you'll have to do something else with that person. But you're talking about a generic inward-outward. So first determine what is inward-outward. Everything is outward right now, the world is outside, body is also external material, Every, all the material in the mind also is external. So what is this inward you're talking about? Then you will immediately say, atma, paramatma, soul, this one. Now you're going into belief system. You don't know. You know you have a body, yes? Hello? Yes. Please check your neighbors <laughs> You know you have a body. You believe you have a mind. <laughs> but to some extent you know. But rest is belief, yes or no? Yes. I'm not questioning whether it's true or false, let's not go there at all. But it's belief, it's not yet in your experience. If you talk about something which is not yet in your experience, to put it bluntly, you're just a bloody liar. That's what it means. But because lies are holy, lies are written in scriptures, lies are repeated by all kinds of people who are dressed in different ways which are supposed to be holy though ridiculous. Because of this, you're not supposed to question these words. Anywhere you go, first thing is people say, Sadhguru, what about the soul? They ask them, which soul, right or left? So, let's not talk about something that is not in your experience. Right now your body is in your experience to some extent, your mind is in your experience to some extent, rest you don't know. But we can infer, if I have to ca ca accumulate this much body, if I have to accumulate this much mind, something more fundamental must be there, yes? Something more fundamental must be there, we don't know what the hell it is. For now, we will call it you. How you will go into yourself, I'm asking. 
you can go into this hall, you can go out of this hall. How will you go into yourself, I'm asking? Saying, let's leave this, this is not the way. You do this way. What is not you? All those things you keep it aside. Before today, if you… before you go to bed, everything that's not you, keep it aside. They may be precious to you. You think about it, your house, is it you? Oh, my house. All right, you have lots of passion about it, but all right, keep it aside. Your husband, is it you? No, that's easy, he's not me <laughs> My children, are, is the… are they me? Oh, little difficulty, but no, they're not me. They're beginning to tell you if they're twelve, they already told you. So the clothes that you wear, is that you? No. The body that you wear, is that you? No. All these thoughts and emotion, is this you? No. Everything that's not you, keep it in one heap. Not physically, just do this mentally. Keep everything aside. Let me see. Every day you practice this, one day when you successfully keep everything aside that you are not, what you are will be there. We have too many ideas about things that we have not seen. It's a big problem. Shankaran Pillai went to Britannia. <laughs> Can I? Yes. Shankaran Pillai went to Britannia Industries to find a job, <laughs> to find a job. So they were looking for a really smart, forcing sales manager. So they asked him one question. Which is further, Mumbai or Moon? Shankar Pillai thought. He said, Mumbai. He said, what? Mumbai is further than the moon? He said, yes. How? Well, I can see the moon, I can't see Mumbai <laughs> So what I'm saying is, if you go by your present perception, you'll get all the wrong conclusions. So don't be in a rush to make conclusions. Let's pay a little more attention. You are a worthwhile life which deserves some attention, isn't it? Don't seek other people's attention. <laughs> Your own attention, doesn't this life deserve attention? Pay attention to this, enough attention, everything will be clear. Everything about you, you're asking me, if I tell you what you have, you have some more words. Some more words you have, that will not get you anywhere near the truth. One more word or ten more words doesn't get you any closer to reality. Just you'll have more things to say to somebody else. This kind of hearsay is spreading in the world. Everybody knows where God is, who his wife is, how many children he has, when is his birthday, his address. In every bhajan, people are singing his address, where he is and how to get him. But they don't know a damn thing about themselves. This kind of, uh, what to say, a very knowledgeable ignorance is dangerous, <laughs> you know? If you do not know, it's not a problem. If I see I do not know, the possibility of knowing is always there, isn't it? If I do not know and I think I know, then I've destroyed all possibilities. So we have arrived at many things, we know in every culture they know what is the nature of God, where he resides, how the ambience is there and the works, you know. You… everybody knows the geography of the heaven, isn't it, don't you? <laughs> but you don't know a damn thing about yourself. It's time, it's time we paid attention because everything you know, you know it only the way it's projected in the firmament of your mind. You don't know anything any other way, yes or no? Yes. So what you need to fix is, you are seeing everything in a mirror of your mind and the mirror is wonky, first fix it. First thing is to make it stable, flat, proper plane mirror so that you see everything the way it is. Does a plane mirror show you everything the way it is? Everything reverse, you know? then you will have to flip it, that'll take much more skill. Most people can't flip a dosa <laughs> Now, 
to flip the whole universe, the whole life that is reflecting in your mind to flip it over without shattering it into pieces will take much more. But the first thing is to level out the mirror so that it shows you everything the way it is, not some other way. Right now everything is seen depending upon how you are identified with something. Every identity has distorted the mirror of your mind and it shows you things in completely different way than the way it is. First thing is stop talking about things that you do not know. No soul, no atman, no paramatman, no god, no divine, no heaven. Talk about something that you know and then the longing to take the next step will become strong. Otherwise, when you know the geography of the heaven, what is the need to pay attention to anything? 